people. And a massive security operation is underway this morning in and around New York City. Tens of thousands of police and other officials are working to protect Super Bowl 48. The Department of Homeland Security is declaring Sunday's game in New Jersey a level one national security event. More than one million people are expected to take part in Super Bowl related activities. On Sunday, 4,000 security officers will be at MetLife Stadium. Military fighter jets are ready to respond to any attack. Helicopters will patrol the sky above the city, and an extra 200 surveillance cameras are watching Times Square, where there are plenty of Super Bowl events. Our former senior correspondent, John Miller, is at the center of this security operation. He is now the NYPD's Deputy Commissioner of Intelligence. Welcome back, sir. Good to be back. All right, so let's talk about your new job. What is What possible threats do we know about? Uh, can you give us some insight on that? And what concerns you and the NYPD the most? Well, first on the threats. Right now, and we scan this traffic literally minute to minute, there is no known credible uh, threat that we have that is directed against the game. Now, that said, in the normal course of business, we have a threat stream. That's threats that come in by mail, anonymous calls. Uh, the same thing you get every day, but some of, it will, some of it will mention the game or the venue. So, you know, you run all these down. We have a team of people that's um, been beefed up for this that that works through that. The FBI has a threat squad that's made up of agents and detectives that works with us on that. Um, so that's a normal cadence. Mm -hmm. Then you have the lead stream. These aren't threats. These are things you pick up through other investigations and you run those out too. And a few times a day we go over where are we on the threats? Where are we on the leads? What do we have left to do if we run everything out? And so far at the end of the day I haven't had anything that's keeping me up at night. Now the answer to your question, what worries you is you always are worried about what is the thing that is not in the threat pile or in the lead stream. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the Boston Marathon bombing model where you have two people who aren't communicating with Al-Qaeda, who aren't part of a large group, they're just talking to each other, um, that's the kind of thing that you say, how are we going to catch that? And we have a whole set of systems for that too. The head of the New Jersey State Police said he's worried about mass transit. Why? I think he's worried about mass transit because of the historical draw of terrorists to two things. Mm. One, aircraft, um, but there's an entire program built around aircraft interdiction for this. But two, mass transit, which is going to be um, the, the major thing that's bringing people to this game is going to be buses and trains. So that's a, a normal focus, but there's a lot of protection there. Mm -hmm. I assume you're doing a lot of things in terms of the kind of getting ready for if some eventuality happened, like somebody trying to fly a plane into the stadium, that kind of thing. Charlie, the other day while you were sleeping, okay, while you were sleeping, <laughs> we actually never know when Charlie's sleeping, but at 4.30 in the morning, to be precise, um, if you had been up, yes. you would have seen a couple of uh, military jets, F-15s, streaking across the skies of New York City, chasing a plane. They actually drill this when everybody's asleep, so nobody sees anything that would alarm them in, in broad daylight. But uh, the night before last, they had the big chase. Um, they've drilled it before. If an aircraft violated the, the, the no-fly zone around the stadium, how would they interdict it and so on? It's built into the plan. And as we saw it when we were all together uh, last year in New Orleans, uh, you know, they used it there, too. All right. Well, we miss you. Well, I miss you guys, too, but I, st I still get to see you every day. <laughs> well, we're glad you still watch the show. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Thanks, John.